Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 in our playthrough as the German Reich. So we took over all of France and Belgium, including all of their colonial holdings and French Indochina here. A lot of valuable rubber in this region, as well as like Syria. We could actually try to declare war on Iraq to capture their oil. However, if we try to justify wars against anybody at this point, we're going to bring the UK into a war against us, and I'm not quite ready for that. We're preparing for war against them, so let me just go ahead, get things started. I did do a little order of battle here. I basically set up anybody that's training here, uh, did some theater work here, are going to be on the Swiss border, split up some armies on the Polish border. I need one probably on the Czech border here. We'll be building things up. We've got some research to do. I was looking through here. I was actually thinking between land doctrine, so 50% bonus, that'll be done in 100, 132 days, or we go right into, we have this ahead of time penalty will, will be reduced by 100% for these Panzer threes. So if we got this going really early, that would be pretty awesome. So I think we're gonna do that, almost have improved machine tools done. So we are, also building up some transport planes. We don't need, we need about 10 of them. We're building, uh, researching paratroopers. So let's just, let's bring back, we don't need that much infantry equipment at the moment. It's a little bit crazy to do that, but we really actually don't need it. So let's get this going and then we'll cancel it once they produce about I don't know, T uh, 10 of these maybe, we'll keep an eye on all of that. Let me go ahead, trade for some more rubber. Actually, let's go ahead and trade a little bit with the Soviets. They like us actually, so keeping them happy until we actually want to declare war on them probably be a good thing. So let's just get this thing going. We'll be building a bunch of units, training things up. Modifier government here. I'm gonna go into probably inventory equipment, although Yeah, let's just get that going. I was thinking about doing something industry-wise, but really our industry is really good. We just need more military factories at this point. So we'll just be speeding our way towards I'd say we're probably a year off of a war against the UK, so let me check out our next research what do we want to do here i'm not gonna don't think i'm gonna go into any more with construction excavation's good oh yeah let's just go right into that land doctrine we were looking at all right and we're working on the anschluss of austria that'll be done in 35 days so it'll be about i don't know 11 months early on that one more factories, so I'm going to be pumping out these Panzer IIs, but we'll be moving that on over when we can. What else could use it? I'll just uh, preload, basically. We could probably use... We're, we're pumping out our 109s because we're going to need air superiority over the British Isles here when we decide to use our paratroopers. And we'll do... At the moment, we can only do one... 10 stack of naval invasions because of our technology level with all of that. That's not really all that ideal, but that is where we'll be at. Just looking at these guys to make sure they're all regulars. Yeah, they're all regulars. Okay, here, so we have the Anschluss of Austria. Repeated uprisings in Austria clearly show that the people there long to be united with our Reich. It is now time to take action and allow the will of the people to be made a manifest. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? So we gain some political power, so that's good. And here's our story. The Anschluss of Austria, after a successful coup d'etat by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported, and the German soldiers were greeted by cheered, cheering crowds in the cities. In a speech before a massive crowd in the Heldenplatz in Vienna, Hitler announced the Anschluss of Austria, annexing 
a country into Germany. The oldest eastern province of the German people shall be, from this point on, the newest bastion of the German Reich. Welcome to the Reich. So what else did we want to do? I don't think we have enough troops to... We're very close to do the Sudetenland, so we'll probably do that next, but... Reassert Eastern Claims. We can do... Memel. Danzig. Hmm. I'm not sure if they would actually accept any of this. Danzig or War. I think we're... Let's go right into... Need both of these. Let's get this Air Innovations. We might research... Uh, battlefield Support Doctrine. Construction Technology. Yeah, let's get this going, but we want to get into this extra research when we can as well. And otherwise, we've got even more political power to spend. And again, we'll do it on industry. So an armor plus 5% heart attack. Mobile tanks. Reliability soft attack. Max speed. Let's go with the Porsche. And I think we need even more oil, is that right? Yep. With our new trading partners. Okay, so we'll continue this thing going. So we also have the Hindenburg disaster. The German passenger airship Hindenburg was destroyed today while the attempting to dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. For reasons not yet determined, the airship was engulfed in flames and crashed into the ground, claiming 35 lives. So we went with the historical outcome on this one. So due to the scarcity of an expense of helium and the U.S. ban on exporting it, the Hindenburg, like all German passenger ships, was ultimately engineered to use hydrogen, which provides greater lift but is also flammable. With the public faith shaken by this disaster and the rise of much passenger, uh, faster passenger aircraft, this could be the spell the end to the era of airships. Oh, the humanity. Yeah, we're getting quite a few. Let's go right into maxing these out. Concentrated industry also done. How close are we to 1938 support equipment, things like that? We're close. Apparently we can get a bonus on our maintenance company if we wanted. So we've got that going. Artillery would come in handy, but we ha would have to produce it. Oops. How close were we on this Type 7C? Yeah, still pretty far off. I think we're going to be getting a bonus on this. So let's uh, go ahead and go into infantry equipment. This will not be required a change in production, but we'll get that going. before we go to war with the British, hopefully. We've got some infantry coming online that we can move into a different stack. Actually, I might create another army here in Poland and put them up. Let's see, what do we want here? We have some new generals, like, automatically coming in, because I don't remember all these guys. I, I think it was because I had this different organization there. Let's go with Carl Student, and we'll put him on the north side here. And let me give these guys... I need to be doing this better. Give them better colors here. Now, even going back to the... Argentina series, I had that problem. Okay, so our paratroopers are done. So we're going to need even more factories. Let's... We'll have to check on how many transports we've produced already. Keep infantry uh, support equipment going. Maybe get this support weapons too going as well. And... 
Well, we've got a bunch of HE-51s. I think as we produce the BF-109s, basically these guys are going into the pool here. Let's uh, put these guys up here. Interwar fighters, there we go. Air renovation's almost done, so we'll go into that soon enough. You know what we should also do? Maybe get some actual battle plans going here. So famous aviator Amelia Earhart, the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared along with her navigator Fred Noonan near Howland Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The two were attempting a flight around the entire world in their twin-engined Lucky to like her plane when they vanished. A search for the missing aviators is now being conducted by the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard, but there's little hope of finding them a loss for aviation. So hey, when we go up against the U.S., we won't have to deal with the ace Amelia Earhart. So what are we going to do? Maybe we should go change aircraft designers... Let's go ahead and get into... we don't need political power gain. War industrialist, factor, military factory speed. Yeah, let's do that war industrialist. Because there's no restriction on much of that. So we've got even more factories coming online. And of course, yeah, we've got Austria. looking for provinces that don't have that mu all that much. Probably want to keep it kind of in the center, but I don't think we're going to have a naval evasion against us either. What do we got navy-wise? So the leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Actually, I don't remember this event in uh, 1.0, so uncertainty has long reigned in the Soviet Union. While details are scarce, there's been a series of secret trials on the highest level and both generals and ministers have disappeared from public eye. The natural assumption is that some great conspiracy has been uncovered within the Communist Party, but no official statements have been made. In addition, the diplomatic reports we have access to indicate the evidence presented at these trials has been far from indisputable. Whatever has been happening, the structure of the Soviet High Command has changed irrevocably. Evidence of corruption inherent in communism. Indeed. Corruption in Communism. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of our forces. Yeah, maybe actually to here. At Calais, I suppose. So our next focus... I think we've got to go... Get this done, and that'll be 140... Well, 210 days... Before we get that extra research slot. Hmm... Yeah, we might be timing things around all this, so let's get that going. The Marco Polo Bridge incident. So yeah, a lot of uh, events in this particular episode. So Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge located just southwest of Beijing. China has rejected Japan's demands for an apology and territorial concessions, claiming instead the breaking point of the Japanese aggression has been reached. Diplomats fear the volatile situation could result in a war at any time. Interesting times indeed. I just hit the microphone, so hopefully that doesn't uh, make too loud of a sound for you guys. I'll tweak it in the uh, post-editing, hopefully. Okay, we need a ton of motorized. How many transports? We've got 11. Let's build a few more of them, but we don't really need to go too much more into them. Actually, do we research paratroopers? Yeah, we did. And we did not start producing them, did we? No, we did not. So we've got these new guys in here. They actually added our mountain guys back and another infantry division, apparently. Okay, I'm confused why that is. Uh, it might be because of... I don't know why that is. Four divisions? 
Where did these guys come from? Huh. Alright, well this one will start training and I'm gonna do cereal and we're gonna build ten of them. Make sure there's ten. It'd be nice. Oh, we do have a counter over here. I was gonna say, it'd be nice if they had a counter. Look at that. We've got so much equipment that we're gonna be maxed out on that. Let me just go ahead and build these guys on the Normandy shore there. We need more oil too. Even more HD-51s coming online. We're gonna have a lot of air superiority here, both with the 51s. We've got a bunch of 109s. Elastic defense also completed. So here's a choice we'll make, but we won't be making that now. Got these going already. Might go into improved artillery. Six hundred and eighty-three days for this. We'll be getting that soon enough, but I think we'll have our war with the British before that happens. Let's yeah, get this going. Dive bombing. Although Let me check something here. Battlefield support doctrine minus 10%. Is that actually what we were even going? Battlefield support. Okay, so there is a bonus to researching these, I suppose. Yeah, we do have one. Okay, continuing on. So actually, let's move these guys out of here, add them... To I actually put them around Luxembourg, but that's just kind of a staging area. We could put an offensive line at least here, though. That's all we would need there. That was a pretty ugly looking offensive line, though. It was an offensive line as opposed to offensive. Okay, so we'll do something like that. Certainly we need a whole lot more troops than we have to do anything like this, but just getting their bonuses up. And actually we do need an army on the Czech border there as well. So when these guys come online we'll do that. We'll go ahead and create another theater here. Panzer 3s are done. Now that is an awesome thing. So, Paul Hauser, you're heading to the Czech border, my friend. And actually, we need to probably secure the Yugoslavian border as well. But we will call this the Czech border. So, number one, let's look at our research here. So, Panzer III is done, like I said already. Should we look into field hospitals? Yeah, I think so. We might add that to everybody. More planes and reserves, more HE-51s. We've got 14 transports. Let's just go ahead and cancel that. That's kind of costing us quite a bit, production-wise. We can probably put that on our close air support. Yeah, here, so that'll open up five factories in addition to everything else that we have. So let's actually head our infantry back up to the max infantry equipment that is. Yeah, I think that'll work out well. And we've got some free civilian factories, so we'll continue building military factories. What do we got here? 105 our civilian factories and what was it? 75, 76. So we're going to kind of match those.
All right. So I wanted to build some more air wings here. They're interwar fighters. Is that right? Maybe they don't even have the range for that. Uh, they're only HE-51s, which everybody knows. Like, if you play War Thunder, the HE-51s, not very good. They're fun, no, they are fun. All those very interwar fighters are really fun in those games. So what do we got here? Move these guys up to our other stack and make sure they're assigned to the same thing. So what I will probably do is... So these are Panzer Divisions. Let's take... Do we have 10 SS Divisions? Let me just slow this down for a moment. Ah, we have some political power. What do I want to do with political power? Military high command, close air support, army logistics, fleet logistics, parrot drop attack. I don't think we really need to waste on that. Bomber interception. Naval max range, no. Experience gain, bad weather penalty, air support. Yeah, let's go with the Hermingering with the ground support. Okay, so... What was I just about to do? Yes, so we've got... Let's take... How many of these? We've got eight SS divisions. We'll take two Panzer divisions. We'll go the first and the second. And we're going to create a new theater. We're going to call it Sea Lion for our Operation Sea Lion here. And we're going to. We probably need to pick the same general we already had, somebody like Manstein. Yeah, we'll go... yeah, Manstein for sure. So we'll do something like that. And then we'll be getting our... Fallschirmjägers up shortly, our paratroopers, and we'll set that up when we can. And actually, go ahead and create that. So we have a Japanese buildup on the Chinese border following the Marco Polo Bridge incident. Japan has not let down the pressure on the Chinese border in conjunction with the aggressive Japanese rhetoric. Speaking of the terrible retaliation for Chinese refusal to cooperate, a renewed war between Japan and China seems more and more likely by the day. A diplomatic solution will soon reach a boiling point, and Japan has expressed no interest in defusing the situation. The conflict in China is worrying. So we're also done with our focus here as well so let's see what we've got here yeah we're going right into rockets I think we're we gonna be able to get this stuff done and before Sudetenland I want to get this done 140 days 210 days that's like gonna set us up probably about to March so maybe we'll be looking about into June Sudetenland Oh, we'll give it a shot. All right, so we've got our sea lion guys coming out over here. We've got how's our training of our Fulcrum Jaeger? So there we go. We got Japan declaring war there in China. Yeah, there they go. So our sea lion's going to be paratroopers, mostly SS divisions, and a couple tank divisions. Let's actually prioritize these guys for everything. I think you prioritize the theater. Do that. Because they'll be getting... Actually, did we even do that? Let's change our production line over to Panzer 3s if we can. 
Yeah, let's get that going. We're gonna have to change those. And we're gonna need some tungsten. Yeah, we're going to trade with Portugal, I'd say, for that tungsten. So do we not have a template for these guys? We just want to upgrade our Panzer Divisions. Yeah, let's just go ahead and upgrade. So what do we got? We've got Motorized. Support Artillery Engineering Company. Let's go ahead and add... I mean, um, Panzer III should be a medium tank, but let me double check it. Yeah, it's a medium tank one. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Sort of, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, is it really a medium tank? It's, it's almost a light tank in the, when you start getting, I mean, a Panther, that's a medium tank. So I'm replacing like all of these with our medium tanks. Do we want to add? No, we don't want to add support anti-air. All right, well, these guys will be slowed down a little bit. They'll have more health than they previously had. Give me way more manpower. Combat width goes up. Okay. Well, that should work. They'll fit what they can when they get in there. They'll certainly slow down our production here. When are these guys going to be ready? December, okay. Yeah, we really need to change our manpower here, but we also got factories coming online. So infantry equipment, that's good. Panzer three, yeah, we're filled up with the BF-109s, but they can always be better. Really would like some more naval dockyards, but we kind of ran out there. Should we build another... Now nah, let's keep building these support equipment factories. Got even more 51s over here. Let's create another air wing. And I think I saw that we had some more 109s. Yeah, we do. So that's pretty good. We're gonna have like a thousand fighters there for air superiority, but I mean, we've got probably six months before we're gonna declare any war, so this will be quite good. We've got more infantry divisions. We're gonna create even another army here. And this one, we'll just put it part of this check st uh, stack, but. Actually, I moved the entire stack over there. That's not what we wanted. We want new army. And this one... We're going to put him on the Yugoslavian border. Yeah, I think that works out well. I won't worry about Hungary. It's Yugoslavia is the kind that could join. Uh, Switzerland's not... For, I mean, they, they actually do join in this game, but most likely not. So, actually, I'm going to build some naval bases. Or is that is that right? No, that's not right. We want naval dockyards. Just looking at where they had those. Let's do it here. Because it doesn't really matter that much.
All right, but actually it does look like we're out of time for this episode. So this has been a major building episode getting ready for our war that will be coming up in probably the next six months in game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.